beauties welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be letting you guys know everything that I did to get rid of my acne and what I'm doing right now to get rid of my scars and everything else so if you guys want to know more about my skincare routine then just keep on watching so the first thing I'm going to let you guys know is about my skin type. So my type of skin is oily uh, to combination, meaning I'm kind of normal on the sides, but really, really oily on the T-zone. It just gets crazy up in here. Um, but yeah, that's basically my type of skin. And I had never in my life had acne, not until recently this year, just a couple months ago. And honestly, I had my whole wedding going on, so I was stressing like crazy. And then I was traveling like crazy as well. So every time I would travel, I already knew that I would break out, have breakouts here and there. But not to this point how it happened this year. So I don't know exactly if that's what caused my whole acne situation to happen or what happened but basically I just started getting acne this year and thankfully I got it all under control finally um, but acne you know in general you cannot control it I have noticed that if you continue to like stress about it more the worse it gets because that's what I saw but yeah that's that's my little story my type of skin that I have um, and also another thing that I wanted to mention about my skin is that my skin is very very like delicate I, I would say because anytime that you pinch it or something it leaves a mark it leaves a bruise so that's how bad my skin is um, so now to get into the products so first I want to let you guys know the products that I was using just to treat my acne and then I'm gonna go into the products that I'm using up to now to treat my scars so first I want to let you guys know about the makeup remover wipes that I was using to remove my makeup these were the makeup remover wipes that I was using they're from Neutrogena these are the just the cleansing towelettes I have used these for many many years and then after that what I would be using and I'm still using to Today is this uh, and a Neutrogena Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Cleanser. This has 10% benzoyl peroxide, but the only difference that I have seen in this product from all the other ones that I have used that have benzoyl peroxide is that this one does not dry my face at all. It feels like you're putting butter. I'm not even kidding. It feels like that. It's super, super soft, very gentle on the skin. It has never dried my skin out whatsoever. Any other products that I have used in the past before to treat acne have dried my face to the point where it hurts, that it's screaming, please hydrate me. So this one has been a lifesaver and honestly I've already finished like two or two or three bottles already and I actually I actually have backups right here because honestly this is how much I love it and I get mine at CVS. Usually I get it there because it's always buy one get one half off so it saves me money. Um, but I don't use it by itself just with my hands. I do use a brush like this. You could use a, any type of brush. You could use a, uh, the Clarisonic or any other ones. I use this one from um, VanityPlanet.com. This is a hundred bucks but I do have a coupon code and it's birdie I'll have it linked down below for you guys but basically it gives you 70% off that way you could get it for $30 and honestly this has been a life changer this is, has only been the only thing in my skincare routine that has never ever ever changed honestly this is the best thing ever it just kind of cleanses and gets deep down into your pores pulls everything out so it's really really a great brush but I mean if you don't want this brush you could get any type of brush I just feel like brushes make a huge difference in your skincare so definitely I recommend any type of brush but yeah this one like I said you could get it for $30 after that what I would try to do is just let my skin breathe I already treated it with the benzoyl peroxide so let's just let our skin breathe right so I was just using a normal moisturizer like this one from Neutrogena which literally does nothing but just moisturize your skin it doesn't have any brightening effects or any acne medication nothing like that it's just like literally just to moisturize your skin and it just kind of lets your skin breathe you know then for my eye cream I was using this product from Strivectin and which I still use to today but not only does it work for wrinkles and everything but also for stretch marks just in case you guys have any stretch marks or anything like that it works great um, this is a really pricey product though but I guarantee you guys that you guys are gonna notice a difference right away within a week and you guys are gonna fall in love but yeah that is literally all that I was using to treat my acne and within two months boom it was basically almost all gone and honestly I am like so happy you know like I cannot tell you how how happy this makes me know that my skin is just like free of acne you know so whew, I'm almost about to cry <laughs> um, but yeah so the, literally that was all that I was using every single day and honestly you're not gonna see the drastic change like within a week it's literally gonna take a little bit of weeks for it to like really show on your skin and honestly you guys were the ones that started noticing it by letting me know in the comments you know like hey your skin is getting better what are you doing and things like that that's when I knew 
okay, these products are working, you know? But now I'm gonna get into the skincare routine that I'm using up to now, till to this day. So instead of using my Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes, I am now using the Bioderma. This guy is amazing so so gentle even more gentle than the cleansing towelettes um and i use it with these little cotton rounds from cvs they're literally just like normal cotton rounds <laughs> um and this could also be used as a toner but i don't use it as a toner i just use it just to basically remove all of my makeup it's so so gentle and i love it and i highly recommend it and anybody that has super sensitive skin you're gonna love this stuff um then right after that like i said i still continue to use my neutrogena um stubborn acne cleanser and with this brush Right after I am done cleansing my skin, I apply a toner now. Um, and this is the toner that I've been using. And I like to call this a toner even though it's not technically a toner. It's more like a serum type of thing. But this is kind of like water. Honestly, when you apply it, it's not going to sting on you. It's not going to, it's literally not going to feel like anything. It feels like if you're just splattering water on you. You can use a cotton round with this or just, you know, put some in your fingers and, you know, put it all over your face. I just use my fingers. Somebody in my September favorites mentioned that this is supposed to be used after you're, you're done with your skincare. But I went back to my old videos where I got the little card um, where this guy came from. I got it from Mimi Box, which was an old subscription box that I was subscribed to. And in that little card, it said, once you're done um, washing your face, you're supposed to apply this right after. So um, that's basically what I got from the instructions that you're supposed to apply it right after you are done washing your face. And then after you're done applying this, you continue with your skincare, right? And from what I also remember is that in the card it said that this helps, you know, to lock in any moisture. And also as well, any other products that you're going to be applying on top to really like help penetrate it deep down into your skin. So any type of thing that you're applying after your, your little toner, it's going to really, you know, penetrate deep down into your skin. So it could work even better. Um, because sometimes you apply it on top of your skin, but it literally just stays sitting on there. And it doesn't really go inside your pores or anything to make it work. So sometimes it's hard for, for like products to work as, you know, how they're raved about. But if you could find a product that could help you, I definitely recommend this guy. The only thing that sucks about it, like I said, is that you could only get it from Korea. So that means you could only order it through eBay or Amazon. I'll have a link down below to it where I purchased mine. But yeah, that's the only thing that sucks about it. <laughs> I wish they could, I could just walk into Sephora and purchase it, you know. But yeah, that's the only thing that I'm just like, oh, why? <laughs> but right after that, like I said, I continue with my skincare. And obviously, I apply a moisturizer. Now, the moisturizer that I'm using today is this one from L'Oreal. And I'm going to have a hard time pronouncing this. But I feel like it's pronounced Revitalift. Hopefully, that's how you say it. It's kind of hard to pronounce. Um, and it, I don't know, it's just like a tongue twister, you know? But it says it has triple power and it has an SPF of 20 and it's for the daytime only. I also do know that it has another type of ingredient in here that's supposed to kind of like brighten or fade away your scars. Um, I don't have the packaging of it, but if you read it once you go to the store and you know you read the box, it does say something about a brightening effect. So that's why I really love it. And on top of that, it protects me from the sun. Um, when I was using this moisturizer, literally I would not step outside the door because I knew how damaging the sun would be. So for those two months, I would try my best not to go out. But even then, sometimes, I, yeah, I would apply a sunscreen, just a normal sunscreen, either from Neutrogena or any other one. But always always use a sunscreen because it makes a huge difference in your scars and everything the sun is your enemy okay yeah this is the moisturizer that i've been using every single day for the daytime now for the nighttime i change it i don't use a moisturizer instead i use a serum and this is the serum that i've been using it's from tatcha it's called the radiant deep brightening serum Honestly, this is literally just to brighten up your skin and fade away those scars. That's all there is to it. Other than that, I don't, I mean, yes, it could moisturize your skin, but literally it really, really concentrates on that. Um, I love it so much, but the only thing that sucks about it is that it's really pricey as well. Um, but I promise you, it's worth every single penny. Honestly, this stuff is amazing. And then right after the, my moisturizer or either the serum, I still continue to use the Strevectin. This guy is literally my favorite for the eye creams and the wrinkles and everything. So this guy, I use it day and night no matter what. So this is the only thing that also goes into my skincare of, as of now. Um, but yeah, that's literally all I do 
other than that I do like to use masks here and there you know I like to use them about twice a week no more than that um, and the one that I really 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 recommend and I'm like obsessed with it and I feel like everybody else too because every time I walk into Lush it's always sold out now um, but this is from Lush this is called don't look at me it's basically a cleansing lemon juice and it's supposed to really exfoliate your skin and also you know penetrate deep down into your pores to get everything out of there and make it flawless and everything I mean they told me a bunch of great things about it so I really love it and also it's so cool because it's turquoise if you guys watch my pamper routine you guys are gonna see me use it there and it's like super super cool so yeah I just love that color as well but that's literally the only mask that I use I was using the other one from Lush which is called the Brazen Honey but that one is more gentle um, then compared to this one this one is a feel like it has more of a power to it So yeah, that is it for my skincare and before I end this video I do also want to let you guys know a few tips that I saw personally that work for me that don't have to do with any products But just to incorporate into your daily routine or weekly routine and you guys are gonna literally see a huge difference on your skin and in general your health um, number one and as stupid as it sounds but drink more water this is really really important I went from drinking two glasses of water every day to now drinking five to eight glasses of water and that makes a huge difference okay so good for the skin and on general for your health okay so water no matter what is important second thing is instead of drying your face with a towel use a paper towel and that came from you guys you guys told me that and you guys were like what are you doing so I didn't know this until you guys told me that it was so bad for your skin and um, yeah so always always use a paper towel I never dry my face with a towel now um, now that I think about it I feel like it's gross you know I don't know why then the third thing is wash your sheets every single week I used to wash mine like every two weeks or something I'm not even kidding but washing your sheets every single week um, makes a huge difference in your skin because there's a lot of bacteria and I don't know about you guys but I mean sometimes I drool and stuff so it's kind of gross if you think about it but wash your sheets every single week um, and the last thing that I want to let you guys know is don't stress about it don't be so hard on yourself stressing is the worst thing you could do to your skin and also your body and your health if you stress the worst your acne is gonna get um, the you're gonna start feeling like shit basically you know so don't stress about it honestly coming from me that I'm here on YouTube and stuff I was stressing so much because there were so many people talking crap but honestly at the end of the day I was like you know what I can't control it I can't you know so I, I was like I'm gonna accept myself the way I am I, I mean this is not gonna change me I'm still the same person no matter even if I have big pimples here and there but I was like no I'm not gonna be stressing about it I'm not gonna stress about it and hurry up into a uh, you know dermatologist or anything there were so many people telling me and there were so many times I did want to go to the dermatologist but I was like I'm here for a reason and I want to see if products work on their own without having to go to, to a dermatologist and finally that came true so I am now like happy that I didn't have to go to a dermatologist to treat my acne and just on its own these products work amazing so yeah don't stress that's the last thing I want to let you guys know no matter what the situation is I mean it's not the end of the world acne is not the worst thing in the world no honestly so yeah that is it for my skincare routine you guys I really really hope you guys found this video super helpful and liked it and if you did don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and share this video with anybody that you guys know that is suffering from acne hopefully any of these products can work for them um but yeah with that one let's thank you guys so much for watching as always I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys all in my next video bye Mwah.